going on stage two, goal two. While it doesn't gallop fast, it does dance the corner, so it's obviously got really good grip. It has got a high top speed, I think, but anyway. You've got to learn to maintain your speed. Win this race with an average speed of 108 miles an hour or more. I presume that's going to be the same target for everybody, but you really can't, you, you just can't never tell. Well, so back round Spa again. So I'm going to use the auto engineer once more. On here, obviously, you should have a clock on the top giving your indicated speed, your average speed, if it's anything like the ones in the past, and then that goes green once you're you know you qualified for that and it stays green while you're running above that target because it is if you've got anything memory like mine which is shocking yeah you, you sort of forget what speed you need but at least you have got an indicator normally you are you know you're qualified or not well down the bottom the indicator is on this one as I'm in chase view so I presume that's why that's down the bottom rather than at the top all this horrible banging and crashing the usual smash up down and a bot oh that was a bit aggressive wasn't it Young love, eh? Oh, I love him. Ah, you wait. It'll all go wrong. You'll be out down a pub every night. Right, so comfortably inside the 110, and we've got some good long straights to go yet. Six position. I don't think you really gonna have to push it too hard to do this target. Some of these targets that we do get are definitely dependent on how many upgrades you've got, and other ones are just a general number for everybody, it seems. Oh, got the lawnmower out there. Do I? I got the lawnmower out, didn't exactly help matters, but. And as usual, these robots are getting more aggressive on every update. I'd imagine they'd be quite. quite nasty as the stages get more difficult. I mean, would you actually drive like that? I'm talking about that robot, you know, the other robot cars. Can you imagine you've got one of these Lamborghinis that cost, whatever, two gazillion pounds. And then you see another one and you start smashing in the side of it. Well, I don't think so, somehow. I need to customise this thing at some point as well. Definitely going to get my group and race team's logo on it, which is a it's like a crown with a circle underneath it. So, if you're not familiar with that, then if you see any cars when you're racing against friends and whatever, you know, because we've all got friends of friends and stuff on this game. So, if you see anybody who's got a crown with a circle underneath it, then that means that they're in same group as me, real racing chat lounge and or my racing teams i've got three race teams in the what you call it in the race teams event thing 
I'm actually going to slow down a bit beat this 108 target by too much really let's go inside the girl and have a little look inside the uh, the bright lights that are the cabin of this thing I was looking at the distance there rather than seeing where I'm going look at the distance between me and the car behind and well, I'm only 150 yards ahead, but that target of 108. I'm not sure you'd actually win that if if you try to do the 108, you wouldn't actually win the race. So it looks like you got to do about 120 odd in my case to win that event anyway. That 108 was a bit of a negligible target, really. It was more the case of beating the car in second by the look of it. It's probably geared up for people if you haven't got any upgrades I would think. Mm. 